happening today. The future of the Detroit Pistons in downtown Detroit could be stalled. Yeah, a lawsuit is looking to block the deal, specifically tax dollars, and that could alter plans. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith joins us now live with more on what could be a critical first step. Matthew. And this certainly does not help things. You, know, you can see behind me construction still going on. Things look wrapped up, but the reality is we've already seen construction workers heading inside, both the Red Wings and the Pistons, counting on this thing to be finished up and wrapped up in the coming months. But what this suit attempts to do is shut down the funding process for this arena. And today's hearing comes just a week after the lawyers for the Downtown Development Authority asked the federal judge to dismiss the lawsuit we're talking about right now, citing that the suit could cause massive harm to the city. The suit attempts to block the use of taxpayer funds for this project. At issue, whether the hundreds of millions of dollars tied up in this project can be directed there without a direct vote by us, local voters. This is a stark contrast to the excitement, pomp, and circumstance we all saw just a few short months ago, back when the Pistons announced that they were teaming up with the Illich family to bring the Pistons downtown to the Red Wings facility. And of course, the timing is hard on the city council, who recently just got added to this federal suit. They are just one day away from their vote to modify bonds to accommodate changes in the downtown plan. It would also help the Pistons move down here. So today's federal hearing is actually going to be taking a look at this arena. The federal hearing starts at noon today. Of course, WXYZ will have a presence inside the federal courthouse, and we will bring you the very latest both online at WXYZ.com and on air as we are just getting on with our noon show as the federal judge is expected to begin hearing that case. We're live in downtown Detroit this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.